Hello, today I'm at Dublin Connolly Railway Station. Behind me is the usual Enterprise, and today we're going to the least used station in County West Mead. <laughs> to the least used station in County Westmead which is Mullingar which looks absolutely fabulous welcome to least used station it's probably the biggest least used station by area that the station takes up I believe it used to have five platforms because we'll talk about it in history we used to have a line to Athlone and it's it's just beautiful So we're going to do some station facilities now and technically not a facility but this station has a massive old signal cabin and it is absolutely massive like bigger than I've ever seen before anyway. Uh, if we look down this way uh, behind this fence are the old platforms for the line that went to Athlone. We'll have more information about the history of that later in the video. But that line uh, was where Galway services from Dublin used to go. So if you were going to Galway from Dublin, you used to go via Mullingar. Uh, we can see just down there, we've got three platforms at the moment. One is a terminating platform, that's platform three. I believe that's used for the service, uh, the la late night service that terminates here on Monday to Friday. I'm not sure though, if you do know, please leave a comment. Uh, and you can see that the, that uh, platforms two and three are an island platform like that uh, you can see uh, signage for this station absolutely amazing first of all you've got these uh, lovely brand new signs that are uh, quite rare I believe Ennis might have similar ones but you can see they kind of stick out the ground on poles uh, but also other signage you can see if we walk down here you can see a beautiful green of the station and over there you can see some way out signs and the beautiful white and green there see some lovely old buildings on the island platform and if we keep walking on up here, you can see 
Uh, the sides of the platforms are beautiful. I've got loads of shrubbery and stuff. Just looks absolutely lovely. There's a beautiful station. Um, probably m maybe my favorite least juice station I've done. Move on to the actual facilities. Uh, so this station has benches, it has bins, it has a ticket office and the ticket office is massive. It has toilets, it has five platforms, although two are out of use. Um, it is, what else do we have with shelter on the platforms, which is great. Um, and it has something else we're about to see down here, which is quite interesting. Something that I don't think any other Leachy station has uh, are bike lockers. This, there are bike lockers here at this station, bikelocker.ie. Very good. They also have them at Houston, I believe. That's the only other station I've seen them at. Here are the old platforms, Athlone to Mullingar line, which used to be the main line to Dublin, of course. And you can see down here there are bins. Here's one of the ticket machines in this station. We can see how much is it to get a train into Dublin. You can see it is seven euro sixty. Very good. And there's also these cycle racks here. I'm not sure if they're public. All the bikes here are the exact same. They have Westmead County Council, so I think it's part of a of a new biking scheme, like a rented bike maybe. I'm not sure, but yeah, there are cycle racks at this station. Okay, so it's time to go over this station's statistics and some of the history. So reading from my notes here, I can see that this station opened on the 2nd of October 1848 on the line to Galway. So if you don't know, this uh, station used to be uh, on the Dublin to Galway railway line on the main line. Um, it used to go from Dublin uh, Broadstone, which is now a bus depot. Uh, all along through Maynooth and Enfield up to Mullingar here. Then you used to go down to Moat, down to Athlone, and then along where it, the line now goes to Galway. So that uh, that means that uh, this station, the current station that's open, is actually not the original station. This, uh, this bit of the station was uh, opened on the 14th of De uh, December 1855 and that was the line to Longford so these platforms, platforms 1, 2 and 3 now uh, were only opened like a few years after the original station opened so this is not the original station um, however the platforms just down there you may have seen them in a few of the cutaways um, you can see there that they're like this would have been one big station uh, originally. Then the line to Athlone from Mullingar to Athlone closed on 13th of January 1985. There was not enough use on that piece of railway um, that it, got, it just got closed and got cut. And now all Dublin's Galway trains go from Dublin Houston through Kildare, Newbridge, Port Arlington up to Athlone that way instead of going where it used to which is through Maynooth and Mullingar and Moat and it's very sad and I hope they can reopen that rail line at some point.
And now to the statistics part. So this station, uh, this station got 726 passengers on Rail Census Day 2021. And you may have heard me uh, say in other videos, other Lissy Station videos, uh, Rail Census Day 2019. Uh, previously, that was the most recent Rail Census we could use uh, for any data, uh, for any station usage. Uh, statistics before but uh, between or since the last video uh, the Red census 2021 has been released the statistics for that So that's the end of Lease View Station in County Westmead. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please do like and subscribe more. Like this is coming up soon. And I'll see you later. Bye.